welcome to this week's video. We are going to do something new this week. We are going to do Freegy. So Freegy is a mix of um, gymnastics, parkour, free running, tricking, and ninja all thrown into one. Um, it's it's very free, which is why it's called Freegy. So we're going to learn some tricks that we've never done before. Um, we don't usually learn these at Fisherman's Bend Gymnastics. So it might all be very new, but give it a go because it's lots of fun and you'll learn lots of cool new tricks. So you'll need a couch or a bed. So I've got my couch behind me. You might also be able to use two dining chairs uh, pushed together to make a bit of a, a ledge. And we also want to be landing on a soft surface. So if you have wooden floorboards, try and put a yoga mat or a gymnastics mat or a nice thick carpet down on the floor. Um, obviously, if you can go outside, you can do this outside, but you'll still need your um, like two chairs to make a ledge. All right, let's get started. All right, guys. So like any old lesson that we would do in the gym, we of course have to start with a warm up. So today you're going to follow along Katrina, who's going to be playing um, and doing our warm up with us. And there we go. Now you'll see me down here in Katrina over here. Awesome. So all you're going to do, guys, is listen to my voice, move around your open space area and freeze in the correct gymnastic shape that I call. All right, let's get into it, everybody. We're going to run around our spaces and freezing in a pivot stand. Who remembers what that one looks like? Fabulous. So now we're going to skip around our floor. Make sure these ones are really, really high, just like your trainers, okay? We want to see if we can point our toe in the air. Star shape. Oh, some super quick ones. Remember our nice, tall star shapes? Can we all hop around the floor this time, everybody? Hopping on one foot as high as you can. Beautiful front support. Amazing, holding our front supports. All right, we're gonna rebound jump around the floor this time, everybody, just like Katrina. Rebounds, rebounds, fabulous. Legs together, we don't wanna see anyone galloping. And back support. All right, can we bear walk around the floor just like Katrina? She's got nice straight legs and she's bouncing off the floor and pointing her toes. Good job, guys, keep it going. Awesome. Elsie, nice. Who's got the tallest back? Beautiful. Can we all crab walk around the floor this time? Crab walking. Star sit. Amazing. Good job, everyone. So the first thing we're going to learn is a depth drop. A depth drop is how you would land from a height. Say if you're out doing free running or parkour and you jump off a wall or a ledge or a bar, you want to land in the depth drop position. So it's kind of a very deep squat, kind of like a frog. We need to make sure that we're bending our knees and controlling it on the way down. And at the very end, we will place our hands on the ground into a frog position. So what we're going to do is have a bit of a practice making our frog position like this. Okay, this is the position we will be landing in from a height. So stand up, do a really big jump, land on your feet first. Once you're all the way down, the last thing to touch the ground is our hands. So jump. Okay, now Katrina's going to demonstrate it from a height for us. Now take your turns with Katrina. So you're going to have a couple of goes. Katrina will be on the screen as well if you need a reminder of what we're doing and make sure you take turns, about three turns or so, so you get lots of practice. Now we're going to learn the side shoulder roll. So this is a movement in order to continue moving in a certain direction. So you might run and jump or leap over an object, do a side roll and then continue running out. 
or you may run, jump off a wall, land in your depth drop and roll out. So it helps us with our landings because often in tricking or parkour or free running, we are moving very fast at speed and often we're going up and down off different heights. So sometimes we can't land those like we would in our motorbike gymnastics. So we do a roll out of it. So our side roll, we have done one like this at gymnastics. It's like our side shoulder roll. So you're going to start on one knee and roll over your shoulder. Okay. So Katrina is going to demonstrate a few side shoulder rolls for us, making sure you're tucking your arm across your body. So you're going to roll over the backs of your shoulders. Now let's have a look at Katrina's. So now that we've mastered the depth drop and the side shoulder roll, I would like you to combine the two together. So I'd like you to jump off a height, like the couch behind me, land in your depth drop position, and then side shoulder roll out of your depth drop position. So if I was doing it, I will just do it off the ground here. I will jump, I will land, and I will side shoulder roll out straight away. Katrina is going to show us some and you have your turn with Katrina. At the end of your side shoulder roll, see if you can stand up and run out of it. Okay, make sure you've got enough space, don't run into anything, but have a turn, depth drop, side shoulder roll and sprint out of it straight away. Now we're going to learn different ways to move. So at gymnastics we might run, jump, skip, hop. In free G or parkour they have a particular move called a QM walk. So it's kind of like our bear walk at gymnastics but you're going to be squatting right down so your arms and legs are going to be bent and we're going to be moving the opposite arm to leg. So my dog is in the way but let's see if I can show you a quick position. So I'm going to have my left leg forwards, my right hand forwards, and I'm squatted down very low. Okay, kind of looks like a lizard. And then I swap. Okay, and swap. Okay, it's called QM walks. Katrina's going to demonstrate some for us while you have your try as well. Okay, some other ways to move are just like our gymnastics moves. So bunny hops, but these bunny hops, we don't want our bottom to lift all the way up to the roof. They want to be very low bunny hops because the, the aim of it is that it's continuously moving forwards rather than balancing on a spot. So it'll sort of look like this. Okay. This is my dog, his name is Titan. So as well as those bunny hops, there's also scorpion kicks. 
So our scorpion, again at gymnastics we do scorpions that are really high, beautiful straight legs. But in free G, the aim of the scorpion is to be a moving activity moving forwards. So we're going to do them very low and legs can be bent as well. And the aim is just to be traveling in them. So it'll look a bit like this. Okay, moving along. So our last traveling activity for today is side bunnies. So we do these at gym. We put our hands on a block and we bunny side to side on these ones. They're for traveling. So we bunny side to side, continuously traveling. Okay, so Katrina's going to be doing all of these with us and you have your turn as well, trying all of the activities and we'll see how you go. Now that we've learned some different ways that we move in Fiji, we're going to learn some vaults. Now again, this is different to gymnastics vaults. Vaults for free G are when we move over an object such as a wall or a fence. Um, so yeah, a vault is moving over an object. Um, you can move into a vault in any of the ways we just discussed about how we move. Generally, you'd probably run up and vault over an object. So the first one we're going to learn is called the speed vault and it's called the speed vault because it's quite easy to maintain your speed into it and run out of it at the end. So the speed vault is done over an object such as your couch or your dining chairs um, or if you have a very small wall or something at home um, and we are going to use the outside arm and the outside leg. So I will show you the position. So my outside arm and my outside leg, which is my opposite arm to leg. Okay, so I would run up to the object. I would put my first hand on and my opposite leg would go on the object. Then the leg from here will come through the middle over the object. Okay, so let's have another look at that position. I'll do my opposite arm this time. So my right arm is on the ground or on the object. My left foot will go on the object as well. And my other leg comes through the middle to vault over the object. Katrina will be demonstrating some for us. Make sure you're being safe. Make sure your objects are nice and stable that you're vaulting over and have your turns with Katrina. You can do a few steps or runs into your vault and see if you can use opposite arm to leg on the object and the other leg comes through the middle. Okay, the next vault we're going to learn is the lazy vault. So the lazy vault is a bit trickier and it will feel a little bit awkward, but you're going to approach your object that you're going to vault over, so your couch or your chairs, and as you approach you're going to turn to the side. Okay, so you're going to run up, you're going to turn to the side, and you're going to place your hand on the object behind you. Okay, so pretend I'm putting my hand on a wall. Look, it looks like it's on my couch. It's behind me. Okay, then I'm going to lift one leg up and over my object. As you go, some people also like to put their second hand down as they go over. So they like to approach their object, run, 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 
turn one hand, leg comes up, other hand, and the other leg comes over. This one's a little bit tricky to understand and work out. Let's watch Katrina, and when you're ready, you can have your turns with Katrina as well. Now we're gonna learn the Kong vault. This one is probably the most common vault that you'll see people do in tricking or parkour or free running. Um, anyone that does that sport will know the Kong vault if you talk to them about it. So the Kong vault is when you're running up to an object, you place your hands on it and you jump your legs through in a tuck position. To begin with, we're going to start by jumping our legs onto the object in a tuck. So, for example, again, my dog's in the way, but if I run up to an object, I place my hands on it and I jump my feet up onto it into a tuck. So we're gonna start by learning like that. Okay, so we're gonna try a few where you run up to your couch or your chair, your hands go up on top, and then jump your feet onto the couch or chair. Let's have a couple of goes at that. We're gonna have three tries. Once that is mastered, the real Kong vault is a bit trickier. So have your turns jumping your feet into tuck first, and then we will move on. Okay, now the real Kong vault is jumping your feet from one side all the way to the other side. So we place our hands on our object, for example, our dining chairs, and then our feet jump from one side all the way through between our arms over to the other side. So Katrina's gonna show us a few of these. You take a turn with Katrina, and when you're ready, I'd like to see you do a little bit of a run, place your hands and jump your feet through. Off you go. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope to see you back again soon. Bye.